long time no makeup look and here you have it today it's my makeup that I usually do for my new hair color <laughs> do you like it? it's kind of natural ginger when I first got it colored it was a bit more pinkish actually um, I'm not sure I, I, really, I really like the hair color but I think I'm gonna change it soon because I think it makes me look too young <laughs> so um, enjoy it while you can <laughs> I'm certainly doing that um, before we get started with the makeup look I just want to quickly talk about the jewelry that I'm wearing today these are from Ana Luisa both these um, uh, leaf ear earrings and my ring I have here they sent me um, four pieces from their like luxury designer collection the jewelry in there are absolutely beautiful. They are made by really, really, really talented designers and um, I'm so happy to receive these. These fits, fit this look really well, right? I really like like long dazzling earrings on short hair. I chose three pairs of earrings and one pair of uh, like one ring. <laughs> um, so the first is obviously these leaf earrings which are super thin and light so they don't weigh anything on your ears second one is this really thick braided ring which is just so beautiful people have been asking me if i'm engaged i'm not <laughs> engaged so um don't worry about that next up is a gorgeous pair that looks like marble and gold these are beautiful and they are a little bit bigger and a little bit more heavy but that's just because it's like a thick um, golden plate so it's really like great quality um, I wore these to fashion week actually one of the days I went the last pair of earrings I got are these asymmetrical rings one is a larger oval and the other one is a bit more like a circle I also wore these to fashion week these are just like really they are so elegant but still gives you like this really fashionista feel if you're interested in any of these jewelry or Ana Luisa brand I really recommend you to check them out they're so so pretty everything they make um, I have a coupon code and links down in the description box below so without further ado let's just keep on going with this makeup look so these days I am a fan of using the cushion foundations that's because these days I have such bad skin I have so much stress acne on my face that I feel like the application with the cushion foundation spans cover them a lot better than if I was using a regular foundation but of course the foundation is not enough I still need some concealer on my dark circles and on my pimples this concealer is from Espoir and you guys know that I've been talking about the Espoir foundations for a long time. My skin changed so now I just use the Espoir concealer and I am just as much in love with this one as I am in the foundation. I don't want my makeup to smear off during the day so my pimples will show so I will just set the foundation and concealer with a powder. Since my hair is lighter, I sometimes color my eyebrows lighter as well. And I do this with this uh, Clio pen. The application of this pen looks a little bit reddish, which is why I feel like it fits the hair color a lot. I got this new palette from Espa and it really has all of the colors that I will ever need. This color looks a bit brown pinkish, but when you apply it, it looks very naturally ginger color, so it fits the hair color just perfectly. I'm applying that and the Autumn Mini color, which is a darker, dusty pink reddish color. I feel like it fits the season really, really well and it just warms up it all. I'm applying it on the outer corner of my eyes and blending it up to the crease as well. For some sparkle and to open up the eyes even more, I'm applying gold glitter on the eggyosal and on the inner corners. Eyeliner. I have been a fan of recently doing the smoky eyeliner. That is possible to do with a gel soft um, textured pen and then I'm blending it with an eyeshadow brush. It doesn't matter if the application looks messy, just keep blending and keep applying until you're satisfied. 
I've been dying to show you guys this mascara. This is so cool. It's shaped like a toothbrush and that just makes the application so much easier. I feel like I can get into all of the little hairs and my eyelashes just look so volumeless when I'm done. To match the ginger feel, I'm applying a orange toned blush all over my cheeks. And of course some highlighter for that sparkle. I got a contour powder that is a bit lighter than what I usually use. This is just to make my skin look more natural when I start to contour it and avoid any dumb mistakes. <laughs> I got this new gorgeous color from Innisfree and I actually got a lot of these products from YesStyle so if you're interested in them too, I will link all of the products down below. And that's it for the makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!